Hi, my name is Kim Baker and I'm president and CEO of Kentucky Performing Arts. We may be shut in, but the arts are not shut down. That's why we're happy to bring you KPA at Home. KPA at Home showcases local and regional artists, connects artists with their audiences, and provides paying gigs for performers whose livelihood has been impacted by COVID-19. We wanna thank Brown Foreman for their support of this series and for all they do to keep the arts alive in our community. We hope you enjoy the show, are healthy and hopeful, and we look forward to the day we can be together again. Thank you. Peonies. Oh, how I love a good peony. Oh, well, welcome to Music Box 1532 and Happy Easter! Oh, it's so good to have company. You know, I've been so alone. Well, I wanted to uh, welcome you to my wonderful abode and, you know, I was thinking, what should I wear for Easter? I had no idea um, that this would be what we'd be dealing with, excuse me, my ribbons, this, uh, this year for Easter. And so I um, selected a wonderful, wonderful suit that had florals, paisley, pastels. In fact, it was practically perfect. Um, unfortunately, we are all quarantined and bound in our homes, and I had to unfortunately decide, well, I couldn't decide. I, I had so many things that I wanted to wear, and so today for you, I have decided to wear everything, all of my outfits together at once, just for you, for Easter, and I wish you so many wonderful, great feelings and, and, and happiness for this holiday, even though Things kind of suck right now. So, let's stop talking. Let's make some music. And for my opening number, I would like to do this. This entire set this evening is in honor of what is on my head. And what is on my head right now is a construct that I made last week. I'm thinking, what, I was, gonna, what, what was I going to do for this wonderful concert? Well, I decided to make my own Easter bonnet, as you can see with pieces of things I had around the house. I had an old, let's see here, it's an old badger tail, faux, and I found some old ribbon that I had lying around from past gifted bourbon bottles, and also a random sort of uh, bow here. And so I have made my own Easter bonnet, and I could think of nothing better than to open this set with Judy Garland's old favorite, Easter Parade. Sing along if you, whoop, sing along if you know. And I cannot play with sunglasses. is brought to you by the word rotogravure. 
Rotogravure, a noun. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a printing system using a rotary press with intaglio cylinders, typically running at high speed and used for long print runs of magazines and stamps. Example. We would love to find a sheet suitable for rotogravure that is not exorbitantly priced. And now back to our regular scheduled programming. Performer and production. And you will find that you're in the service. You were going to sit in the front pew. I know you were going to sit in the front pew and show off that spring couture, the accoutrement that we wait annually for. So please, go into your closet, put on your Easter bonnet, and take a picture of you with your Easter bonnet and put it in the comments. I want to see some very entertaining photos here, okay? It might be equally if not more so entertaining than mine, but it'll be hard to beat this wonderful concoction that I have conjured up. Now, as you can see, my Easter bonnet has a lot of different things on it. One thing that I really like so particularly much about my Easter bonnet, it has these ribbons, ribbons that just go down my back. Cue. <laughs> Yeah. 
do finishing the hat and I might make a re this might make a reappearance for people who couldn't watch this evening my Easter show I have neighbors who are outside my and birds who are outside my door wondering what on earth is going on in here thank you for sticking around and trying to fi figure out for yourself what on earth is going on here you know after a month of being in quarantine we can sometimes try a, a we lose our wits our marbles get scattered but I wanted to thank one particular company, particular company that has really gotten me through this quarantine. Yes, you are correct, that is Brown Foreman. And in particular, Old Forester, Brown Foreman's Old Forester, the rye. That product is a godsend. 
Thank you, Brown Foreman, for sponsoring this Kentucky Performing Arts at Home, hashtag KPA at Home series, because it keeps, it's keeping us sane. And thank you, Brown Foreman, so much for the product. Keep it coming, and I'll keep buying. Anyway, we're going to keep on trucking along here. I do have some fun things that I'd like to, to sing, in addition to the other fun things that I've been singing. So, what happens in quarantine? Well, lots of uh, plans and schedules and things that we've been wanting to go to and been planning for years get canceled. Well, I know that there are many couples out there who have planned for, you know, their weddings. Well, it just so happens that I have two very dear friends of mine, Jimmy and Hannah, who were meant to get married this weekend. And unfortunately, because of the quarantine, they were, not, they were unable to get married this weekend down in Nolens. So, I actually happened across this, this box. My neighbor just brought me this box of old war music, uh, 1940s, 30s, 20s, uh, piano music, uh, just to, to leaf through. And I was like, this is perfect cabaret fodder, so I'll use it for my cabarets. Well, just so happens, there's this song. It's an old World War II song from the movie When the Lights Go On Again All Over the World. It's a movie that was made in 1944, starring Jimmy Lydon and Barbara Belden. It was a complete flop, but there happened to be this wonderful song, and it's all about this couple that goes and gets married, and then he goes off to war. Well, in a way, it's kind of what we're dealing with now. Jimmy and Hannah, this song is for you, planning your wedding and then having to make alternate arrangements. That just sucks. This song is for you, my dear. Ears. <laughs> Um, <laughs> people 
Jimmy's commenting on my outfit. Well, go big or go home, and I'm already home, so I have to go big. So anyway, Sesame Street is a love and dear friend of mine. I absolutely love Sesame Street. Growing up, I watched Sesame Street, and Kermit made very rare, few appearances on Sesame Street. He had a very busy schedule, so he couldn't keep that, you know, that, that gig. Um, Kermit's a very good friend of mine. Um, we get along just fine. Anyway, so I love the theme to Sesame Street. Sing it along with me, although listen clearly and closely to the words. <laughs> Listen to our governor, Andy, and you will know how we get out of quarantine. Listen to him every day at five. How we get out of quarantine. All right. I'm going to take it back. Today is a hallowed day in the Christian calendar. Everyone now, what is it? Oh, yes, it is Easter. I don't see any pictures in the comments of your Easter bonnet. Easter bonnet. I am wearing my bonnet, why is no one else on it? Get your bonnet on and take a picture of it, please do. Put a hat on, any hat, take a picture and put it in the comments. Here we go. What's one word that we all know and love every, every Easter that we can't say during Lent? For all those Christians out there, yes, yes indeed, we can't say this one word. But you know what? We can say it freely now, and I have several things to wrap up my set this evening that include that wonderful, hallowed word. I think you know what that is.
sing that song today of all days, right? <clears throat> all right. I have one more ditty. Just one more ditty and a kiss and shine. Yeah. I do know how to entertain. It might always be good, but you just have to let it go. Let it go and give it your all. And if anything, I hope I've provided some entertainment this evening just to keep your mind off of things, if anything. Um, I hope you're wearing your bonnet, and if you're not, get on it. Yes, I did it again. Rhyming. Um, this last piece, it has been said that this last piece Moved this person so much that he had to rise to his feet. All my musician friends are like, uh-huh, here we go. Yes, I don't care whether it's your Shermer, I don't care whether it's your Novello, or whether it's your Dover, <clears throat> or if it's your Baron Rider, very nice. Pull out your copy of The Messiah it is now your time to participate with me in this production, this Govern Me Daddy Cabaret, KPA at home, hashtag Brown Foreman, we love you. Kim Baker, you are on fire, we love you. We can't, yes, you are on fire, not the center anymore. No, you. The fire has been transferred from the building to you, my dear. Everyone, let's stand and give a round of applause for Kim Baker. Yes, I forgot my pants. Anyway, Please stand for the playing of the Hallelujah Chorus. Happy Easter. Have a wonderful spring. Wear your pastels proud. Wear your Easter bonnet all week. Stand for the Hallelujah Chorus. King George did.
atmosphere. Thank you, thank you for attending my cabaret.